From an evolutionary perspective, the platypus is one of the most interesting creatures to study. It seems to have the bill of a duck, the body of an otter, the tail of a beaver, and the egg-laying capability of a reptile. The characteristics of platypuses lend credence to the theory that mammals evolved from reptiles. One of the most interesting parts of the platypus anatomy is its sense of electroreception. Electroreception helps the platypus find food while swimming by picking up on tiny electrical waves the prey put out. Monotremes are the only mammals to have electroreception and the platypus has the most sensory glands of the monotremes with approximately 40,000 on its bill, compared to the short-billed Echinda, which has around 2,000. This feature is very important to the platypus because they swim with their eyes, ears, and nose closed. Most evolutionary biologists believe this evolved independently of other animals because the platypuses needed help finding food. Sharks are also known to have this ability, but it is not connected to the platypus' similar one. As you can see, male platypuses use their unique venomous spurs to incapacitate other males during mating season. Female platypuses also have spurs on their hind legs, but the males are the only ones who produce venom. The venom is composed of defensin-like proteins, of which three are unique to platypuses. The venom is produced by the cural glands and then transferred to the spurs. The platypus venom is probably another holdover from reptiles since monotremes were the first mammal offshoot. Platypuses are one of only a handful of other mammals that have venom, and theirs is strong enough to cause severe pain to humans and cripple small mammals. The most unique characteristic of the platypus, and the most widely studied, is its ability to lay eggs. Only the platypus and the two different Achinda species still maintain the egg-laying capability, while all other mammals have in utero placental development. It's also considered a primitive retention from reptiles, suggesting that mammals were originally egg-laying and then developed placental fetal growth. Since the monotremes evolved away from the other mammals before the development of placental growth, they maintain the egg-laying capability. There was also never any environmental pressure to develop placental growth in monotremes like there were in other mammals. In preparation for laying her eggs, the female platypus digs a burrow and builds a nest. The male platypuses have no part in raising the young and leave after the breeding season. After the young are born, the mom feeds them by releasing milk from her pores.